The hundreds and thousands of little rock pools around Britain's coastline exercise a strange fascination over children of all ages. The pools, each a miniature world on its own, are studied with grave concentration, but no apparent result. It really takes students of marine biology like these to know what's what. Whether Dr. Joanna Kane here graduated from rock pools to rather larger ones, in this instance the Irish Sea, we don't know. But we do know that she is one of the most attractive sub-literal algeologists working in Britain today. For the benefit of landlubbers, Dr. Kane collects and studies various types of seaweed growing below water level. The good ship Cyprus is operated from the Isle of Man by the Port Erin Marine Biological Station, which is mainly intended for research into the natural history of marine animals and plants. The study of the growth rate and distribution of the weed entails two or three dives per week, depending on the weather, to depths of up to 80 feet. Although underwater visibility is usually good, it is often restricted to four or five feet by sand and silt suspended in the water. Another aspect of the work done by the station is the study of the movement of water masses and the chemical and physical properties of seawater. Dr. John Slim takes the temperature and collects a number of samples from different levels with the aid of a Nansen Patterson bottle. The object of this research is bound up with the movement of fish. Herring, for instance, are found in water favored by the plankton on which they feed. From these water samples is determined the percentage of phosphates and oxygen, as well as the degree of salinity of the water. As the Port Erin area is the largest scallop fishery in Great Britain, another part of the station's work is to examine the habits of both scallops and herring. It also has a hatchery on shore for place and lobster, some several million being bred and put into the sea each year. Dr. Kane, who has been diving for three years, completes yet another voyage of exploration. Another illustration of how modern techniques are being employed to study and improve our knowledge of the timeless depths. <laughs>